Hi guys, today I'm going to take you guys on a tour to Nuranjan Fish Market in Seoul. No matter where you are in Seoul, it is a quick and easy trip to the fish market. The new fish market opened up about 5 years ago in 2016 in a new building next to the old fish market. I miss the old fish market to be honest. I miss the smell of years of fish carcasses being thrown all over the ground and I miss the rustic feel of a traditional fish market. But we will have to make do with the new fish market. Take the subway to Nuranjing Fish Market on line 1. Follow the signs and come out of exit 1. Walk down the stairs and follow the sidewalk until you see a sign for the fish market. Walk down the stairs and through the tunnel. Take the escalators up and here you are. You will see the building in front of you, so just walk into any entrance. I took the entrance on the left side. There are a ton of stalls and the market is quite big, so it may be a little intimidating. I decided to start with ordering my sashimi first. This is a really famous stall, so just look for this sign when you come here. You can watch them prepare your fish too, if you would like. Order your sashimi ahead of time, as they usually get a lot of orders. It typically takes about 30 minutes. You can order your fish on one of these machines. Now walk around a bit to get yourself familiar with the market and ask about prices at different stalls. You can always go back to the stalls and try to bargain your price down. There are many options here, from lobsters to crabs to shellfish. The price of lobsters and crabs have gone up quite a bit but if you have the money, I would recommend it. They are super sweet and juicy. And also if you are adventurous, definitely try the skate fish. It's a little funky. You can also play with some of your seafood if you would like as well. This is the kebur, which is a type of spoonworm. There are tons of varieties of shrimp here as well. So if you love shrimp, this market will make you very happy. And these are some absolute massive sea cucumbers, which I've never seen this big. And also some ginormous abalone as well. And if you want to try something unique, definitely try this. It's called mange, which is a type of sea squirt. Once you bought all of your seafood, the stall owner will take you to one of the restaurant owners on the second floor. You will just need to follow the restaurant owner to the restaurant. There are a ton of restaurants and they are all basically the same. Once you get there, you will need to tell them how you want each of your seafood items cooked. Right here. <laughs> there are a ton of tables, but I guess we were quite special, so we got a private room. You can also buy some fried I items as well on a second floor to kind of balance out your fresh seafood items. And this is our spread. We got a little bit of everything. Some sea cucumber, 
some sea squirts, some abalone, and of course, some sashimi. The raw oysters were also quite tasty as well, since they are in season. And these massive pen shell clams, we had them sashimi up. And a little bit of soju always goes down really well with some seafood. We also had them grill up some tiger shrimp. And had them pan fry some scallops up with some butter. These grilled oysters were actually quite amazing. So fresh. We might have actually ordered a little too much, probably enough for probably eight people, but there was four of us and we did a pretty good job. Just look at these oysters. They're so fresh, so creamy, so smooth. Looks like a baby's butt. And this is how you peel a shrimp. Take off the head. And go one, two, three, and pull that part of the shell off, and the rest is quite simple. And voila! You have yourself a clean shrimp. Shrimp cheers! And definitely make yourself some massive wraps and these buttered scallops. And at the end of the meal, always get some mail and tang. Whenever you get sashimi, the vendor will usually provide the fish head and this way you can make the soup at the end of the meal. So Koreans, whenever we have seafood, we usually have the soup at the end of the meal to make it a complete meal. Get yourself a small little bowl of rice to go along with it and you have yourself a complete meal. I think we did a pretty good job, so I hope you enjoy the tour of the fish market.